you. Students at CU Boulder returned to in-person learning today. The university hoping weekly COVID testing and a daily health questionnaire will allow them to remain on campus. You may recall a series of outbreaks at the start of the fall semester forced everyone back into remote learning. Our Alan Janae in Boulder tonight. And Alan, sure seems like the students are happy to be back. Well, they are. Even though masks are now required on campus, Jim, a lot of students are settling in tonight, another cold night to study. But even those who are still going to be doing remote learning can visit campus now to do things like visit the library for at least a little piece of campus life. Hard to find people here who aren't in favor of at least some more in-person learning, even those who are having logistical challenges. But though I just showed up to campus and I'm late for class and uh, <laughs> you don't know where you're going. Well, I know it's right around here. That's all I know. After learning online for so long, they're working on just getting to things. But I'm glad to be back here, you know. You don't know what in-person is here. Not yet. at all. Caitlin Freeman came to see you from New Jersey for ROTC in the fall. You actually get to see someone face to face. You get to work on things that you're going to be doing when you're actually in the military. For months, campus has seemed vacant. Now any class published as in-person is in-person, those remote stay that way. Some of my professors right now are older and they're staying online and that's good. Like if you if you don't feel safe, then you can stay online and that's okay. Higher education is not in a priority vaccine category like school teachers, which one philosophy lecturer says he understands. So the instructors who have to teach in person need to be vaccinated um, and those who don't, you know, unfortunately, it's not great, but we should be more online. Alex Wolf Root is also of the United Campus Workers Union and concerned about custodians and food service workers. They need to get the vaccine before anyone like myself for sure. For students, it's get acquainted time. I think it's right here. They're ready for new connections. So it's definitely going to be a change. Change you're looking forward to. Yes, yes, 100%. <laughs> CU tells me they're still waiting for more guidance from the state as to whether or not their people might change places in the vaccine protocol. Now, they had created this in-person learning at the beginning of the semester because they were concerned about cases would increase after the holidays. They say things aren't likely to change again with remote or in-person unless there's another COVID spike. In Boulder, I'm Alan Janae covering Colorado First.